Hey everybody, this is Bjorn Alpfast from WP Learning Lab. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you and show you why you need to keep your plugins and themes up to date. So the main reason is for security. The, the battle with hackers is always an arms race. I mean, they always try to find different ways to hack into your website or your web properties and either cause havoc or just to prove they can do it. And it's a real pain especially when it happens and if you're not properly prepared for it you can actually lose a lot of time because you might have to rebuild your site from scratch if you're not not taking the proper precautions to protect your site and to save all the backups of your website so the way the hackers usually get in is out of date themes and plugins where there's there's a security vulnerability that they can tap into and take advantage of and find a back door into your website or maybe not even get into your website but just inject some malicious code into your database and cause some real havoc. So that's the main reason you want to update plugins and themes. Another reason is just to keep them up to date with the newest features and newest technology. And even for themes, the newest design styles. But really the number one reason is security. So in your WordPress admin section on the dashboard where you see us right now, if there's an update available for a plugin, you will see this orange circle with a number in it. And that shows right now there's a number one in there, which means that there's one plugin that has an update. The themes under the appearance menu, they don't have that same orange circle with a number, even though there might be an update available. One very important thing you have to do before you update anything on your WordPress site is make backups of your WordPress files and your WordPress database because you never know if an update is going to break something that you may not be able to revert back to the original condition by just shutting off the theme or the plugin. It might do some actual damage in the database that can't be easily fixed. So you want to have, again, backups of all your WordPress files and backups of your WordPress database. And I have another video in this series showing you how to do that. So make sure you do that before you do any updates. So we're going to update a theme first. So all you have to do is hover over appearance and click on themes. And like I said, you won't have a number there showing you there's an update. So you might want to periodically check to see if there is an update for your theme. Now our active theme is the one on the top left. All these other ones are installed, but they're not active. However, even though they're not active, the files are still present on the server, which means a hacker can still access those files and cause problems, even though it's not the active theme. So there is a, a good argument to be made for you to have only one theme installed, only your active one, and all of the rest are gone. They're, they're deleted. All you see is one theme because then you only have to update one theme ever. You don't have to worry about all the others. If you ever want to switch themes, you just upload and install a new one. But then you, again, only have that one theme on your site and not multiple. So as we can see, the 2013 theme has an update available denoted by the orange bar at the top where, and it says update available. And if we click on theme details, we can view the details for the update, which we won't do in this case, or we can click on update now. If we click on update now, it will take us to the automatic update process and it's actually done already. And then you can live preview it or activate it, but I'm not going to do either. Uh, because I don't want to use that theme. That's just the theme that's installed that I want to keep up to date. And like I said, this is this is just a demo site where I show people how to do stuff. But if this is your main site, you'd want to consider having only one theme installed. And 2013 is still showing as update available. So I'm just going to refresh the page, see if that updates. Okay, there we go. Now 2013 is showing as being updated. And then we want to go in and update our plugins. So if we hover over the plugins menu item on the left hand side, we can click on install plugins or just click on that plugins menu item. We scroll down to see where the plugin is that needs to be updated. And here it is denoted by the orange bar and light orange background. And in this case, I know that for a fact that the WordPress SEO plugin update right now, there is a big security issue that they're patching. So if we click on version details and we can see for the details for 2.1.1 which was released today and then 2.1 which was released yesterday 
Under the security heading, we can see that this fixes a possible cross-site scripting vulnerability. That's what XSS stands for, cross-site scripting. It's a, it's a way for hackers to get into your website. And so a contributor or a user of the, the plugin, they found this vulnerability, told the developer about it, and the developer was able to fix it before a hacker found it. And that's the best case scenario. Sometimes hackers or some, sorry, sometimes developers and users aren't going to find it first. And that's when even updating your plugins isn't going to help. Because if a hacker knows about a vulnerability that nobody else knows about, it's, it's, it's an easy, it's a cakewalk for them to just hack into any site they want that has that plugin or theme. But this theme is, or this plugin is out of date, and we know there's a, a high possibility of there being a hacker entrance via that theme. So we're going to click on Install Update Now in the bottom right. And now the plugin is updated, and we're done. If we go back to the plugins page, well, you notice that the little orange circle with that number is gone. And then if on the plugins page itself, we have to refresh again, and there we go, it's updated. And also, while we we're messing around, this was just released as we're playing around with, with these plugins and themes, which is great timing because you also want to update the WordPress core files. One day when you log into your admin dashboard, you're going to see this WordPress update is available. Please update now. And often the, the updates to WordPress are obviously their increased technology. They're, they're, they try to make it easier and easier to use for everybody. But there's also a lot of bug fixes and security patches that they put into these updates. So when you see this notification, what you want to do is update. So to update WordPress, update the core files, all you have to do is click please update now. And on the page that loads, you can either download the package and update manually, or you can click on update now to update automatically. We're going to do it automatically by clicking update now. And it just takes a few moments. And we've successfully updated to WordPress version 4.1.2, which you can see on the bottom right of the page. On any page in the admin area, it says what the version number is. And there you have it. That's how you update plugins, themes, and the core files to WordPress. And you want to try to make sure to keep those as up to date as possible. So whenever an update comes out, update it quickly. And before you do your update, you also want to make sure you back up all your files and your database because sometimes updating doesn't go smoothly. So make sure you, you back up all your files, back up your database, then update your themes, update your plugins, and update your core files if there are updates available. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. I hope this video helps you. Make sure you subscribe, Follow us on social media and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.